Hello guys, today let's talk about how to add a few more columns to Laravel Jetstream registration form. So we will add those to the model and the migration, then we will add the fields here partly using blade components of Jetstream and partly not. And then finally in registration we will see the actions folder and the files that come from Laravel Fortify which are responsible for registration. So let's go. First, to save you time, I've prepared something already, which is typical Laravel thing. I've added a few columns, so there is a migration add columns to user stable, and I add two columns, role ID and license number. Role ID, for example, will be student or teacher. And in real life project, it should probably be a foreign key to roles table, but for simplicity, for this example, it's just a number. And visually, it will be a drop down. So a few columns here, then they both should be fillable. So we need to add them to user model, role ID and license number. And then we go to the register blade in resources, views, auth, register blade file. And in here, we need to add those fields. Every field, every visual field. So this one is described with these two blade components so label and input so after this one we need to add two more fields by the way side note did you know that Jetstream has a feature of terms and privacy policy enabling which is really simple to enable if you go to registration documentation of Jetstream, you just enable this one in config Jetstream, and then you can edit terms and policy as a markdown so that's a side note and now let's try to add one more field those xjet label and xjet input are blade components of jetstream i have a separate video on those and i will link that in the video description but basically this is just a label and this is just an input with tailwind styling so label for license number here id license number and here type text autocomplete we don't need any autocomplete and let it be required and we change the text from confirm password to license number. That's it, let's refresh our form and see if it appears. Yep, it is appearing as license number. Now let's add a second one drop down for the rows and this is more tricky because Laravel Jetstream doesn't have a component, blade component for the drop down. It has only the drop down links for profile, for menu, but not simple select drop down. So label stays the same, role ID, and then for example register as like this and instead of input we need to have a select manual select without any blade components name role id and then option value one let one be student duplicate that value two is teacher and if we refresh it appears but without the styling so where do we get the styling that styling comes from xjet input, which is by default in input blade, which is in vendor. So vendor Laravel Jetstream resources use components input blade. It looks like this and there are a lot of attributes. So class attribute, which we just can copy from here into our select like this. So class equals paste all of that tailwind line. And then we refresh the page. And it is styled, but not the full width. Full width comes from this class, like this. Refresh, and now we have a select dropdown styled exactly as the input fields. You can extract that to another blade component, so create your own component like xjet select or something. But I would advise to do that only if you have that select somewhere else. So second select would be styled the same and then you need that select to be extracted to a separate component. So we got our fields in the database. We have them in drop down and input in the form. Now how do we save that? In Jetstream, backend auth is powered by Laravel Fortify, which is a separate package, which you can use without Jetstream, but it comes as a part of Jetstream. And all the registration happens in file create new user, which is in app actions Fortify create new user PHP. It is pretty similar to what used to be in Laravel UI file called register controller. There's also validation and user creation. So in here, all we need to do is add role ID equals input role ID and then license number equals input license number like this. And let's try it out. We refresh the form. I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill it all in. So we have the student and license number. We register and we are in.
And behind the scenes, of course, I have run the migration. So I do have those fields in the database. And let's take a look. Users table, it was empty, but it had role ID and license number. And we refresh. And let's see if they are not empty. Yep, role ID one, license number is 879. Final thing we need to do here is the validation. So we should add the validation here, like role ID is required, like this. It could be without array, but I just got used to have arrays even if it's one element, just for the future, so someone could be able to add more rules. License number is required, for example, and minimum of five characters, right? And now let's see what happens if it's not correct. So we log out and we register again. The same form. We fill it all, but license number is too short. We register and all the validation errors will appear on top. So Jetstream takes care of all of that visual representation. All we need to do is add our rules in the validation make here. It is powered if you go to register blade xjet validation errors there's a separate component we can navigate to validation errors and components in the vendor validation errors and it's just doing for each of the errors and doing the list like this one and there's one more thing we need to do with validation people often forget that is to leave all the values in the form if the validation appears so as you can see license number is empty and same with the drop down it doesn't have any value from the form so let's fix that when we copied the password confirmation input, of course, passwords should not have old values, but the email, for example, did have old value. So all we need to do is copy this to license number value. It becomes a blade component parameter. So license number here like this. And let's try it out. Refresh the page, fake filler, validation still should appear. And that still stays great. And now for the option value, since it's not a blade component, we need to do that manually. And by default, the value selected would be one unless it is two. So if that's in blade, old role ID equals two, and if then selected, selected. Let's try it out. Refresh the page, fake filler. Let's choose teacher. We register and the teacher stays here. That's it. I'll probably shoot a few more videos around Laravel Jetstream in the near future because I'm shooting a separate course on practical project with Jetstream. So if you have any comments or questions around Jetstream, shoot them in the comments below or email me directly pavelis at laraveldaily.com and subscribe to the channel and be notified of new videos. And one of those videos will be information when that course is released. And see you guys in other videos.